This week, Microsoft has announced that Xbox 360 and Xbox One will be able to self-publish. Let's hope that this won't go in a downfall. This is Indie Spotlight. <laughs> Welcome to Indie Spotlight, where we bring you trailers, news, and new releases. As always, we start the week with a trailer, and the first trailer we have for you is Charlie Murder. Let's take a look. I'm nothing. I'm nothing of rock and roll. And I'm stomping on fortune and fame. I'm in the grave, I'm on a roll at the cemetery, go, go, go. Kicking eggs, I'm stomping bones at the cemetery, go, go, go. Charlie Murder! Yeah, punk rock forever! All right, that's, that's it. Uh, Scott Studios, I've been waiting forever since this was first announced. Uh, Scott Studios did a whole PR that like, it was a real band, and I believe that uh, myself, I am a Scott Studios follower. I love Dishwasher, both of them, Y2K, Zom, I love, I love Scott Studios. There, I said it. I'm excited for Charlie Murder, August 14th, 2013, on Xbox Live Arcade. Part of the Summer of Arcade. Check it out if if you want to. If you don't, it's gonna be ten dollars. So, yeah, do it. All right. Next trailer is a sequel to the awesome, awesome puzzle platformer by Magical Time Bean, Escape Goat. So now we have Escape Goat Two, which will be releasing, I believe, very soon. Um, I want to say August, but I'm not positive yet. But it's basically a step up in the graphics department. Uh, it looks to play the same way. You have the goat and you have the magic mouse. And the mouse has like a magic hat where you can trade places with the goat. Um, I don't know if that's a spoiler alert for anybody else. But if you haven't played Escape Goat, I recommend go play it now. And then go play Escape Goat 2. Even, you don't even have to play Escape Goat 1. You can just play Escape Goat 2 and we can all be happy together. Next trail we have for you is a ride into the mountain. Ride into the mountains looks like a just by looking at it, there's not much to tell about it. I, I myself, you know, like that, you know, retro look, and uh, it's got that heavy retro look. It has got a twin stick feel for it, although I don't know how it plays. Just by looking at the trailer, I'm interested in knowing more about it, but it seems like it's going to lack a lot of content, like it's going to be sort of a short game, so we'll see what happens. All right, that does it for trailers this week, and now on to the news. This week, Phil Fish has canceled Fez 2. Canceled. After so long for waiting for Fez 1, I think he just gave up. I, I I honestly see him as somebody you can't deal with um, personally. 
his partner might have dropped out. Something might have happened with his family. We don't know, but uh, in a media uproar on Twitter, he supposedly told a video game journalist uh, to go kill himself. I mean, and basically told Twitter that, sorry, but there's going to be no Fez 2. I mean, with my, uh, not my personal experience, but with, with what has gone on with just Phil Fish alone, um, not just the indie game movie itself. Um, I've heard many people who've met him in person, and he's absolutely, you can't deal with him. He's just one of those people that are like, temperamental, and I personally think he might have some emotional issues, but um, what do you think about uh, Fez 2 being canceled? Do you think it needs to be canceled? I mean, we really can't force him to make Fez 2. Maybe he could sell the rights to Fez 2 uh, um, and have somebody else make it. I mean, it's Phil Fish's game. He's the one that made Fez 1. I personally liked Fez 1. Great. Uh, what do you think? Comment down below on what you think should happen from now on. Do you think we should just ignore this and let Fez 2 just be gone or and just live with Fez 1? I mean, Fez 1 was just great. I mean, I still am trying to f collect everything in the game. All right. Uh, all right, last but not least, X in Microsoft, you know, subsidiary of uh, Microsoft, has... Hmm. <clears throat> and last but not least, Microsoft has announced that self-publishing will be available for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Uh, what this means is a lot of indie developers are jumping on this chance to um, develop for the platform. We already have Xbox Indies, and there is some other garbage on that platform. And uh, what they're going to do is, what I believe is going to happen is that they're going to not only, you know, allow you to publish yourself, probably share some profit. Um, what I believe is probably going to happen is that it's not going to be like the Xbox Indies, uh, you know, platform itself. It's going to be more like uh, if you're going to create quality content, create quality content, you know, it's, if you're going to sell it for more than $5, which is like 400 Microsoft points, which is now Xbox is also doing away with that. If you're going to sell it for like $5, $10, $15, you got to make sure quality is up to par with those uh, price points. And don't, in the beginning when I heard this, I was afraid that there was going to be like a lots of garbage just thrown at Microsoft. I, I mean, I know there's probably going to be lots of garbage thrown at Microsoft anyways. They're going to expect that, and not much has been said about the self-publishing. You're not going to have to rely on Ubisoft. You're not going to have to rely on EA. You're not going to rely on any of those publishers to publish your game. You're going to be able to self-publish those games and you know maybe share the profit with Microsoft since you're going to be self-publishing those games. I see that as a great business plan, a great business opportunity for Microsoft, and I see that Microsoft is now learning from what Valve is doing with Steam and uh, other platformers. I'm your host, Master Blood, and thanks for joining me today. If you have any news or trailers or new releases that you want to get featured in Navy Spotlight, you can contact me over at twitter.com slash masterblood. Kyle over at twitter.com slash Dazerin, or you can reach us over at twitter.com slash BBGTV. Thanks for joining us, and I will see you next time on the Indie Spotlight, whenever that is, uh, whenever I do it. All right, bye! That was a good closeout right there.